All right, Kevin Durant, Donovan Mitchell, not the only ones with a little bit of uncertain futures, but we've touched on them. Now we're going to touch on Kyrie Irving, also very much just in this mix right here. So we have Dave McMenamin, we have Nick Friedle back, and what I want to do is imitation, the mm. sincerest form of flattery, Dave I loves believe. Dave to do that. <laughs> Dave loves the imitation. Is that right? He's ready for it. So, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Shout out to our friends on PTI, Mike Wilbon, Tony. We're going to do a little bit of what they do, where Dave, can you please play Rob Palinka, the general manager of the Lakers? And Nick, will you please play Sean Marks, the general manager of the Nets? And I'm going to pose some scenarios to you two in character, and I need your answers, please. Sound good? We got. Oh, Let's go, boy. Malika. Make okay. the suit a little bit skinnier, a little bit tighter. <laughs> Cool. All right, well, don't worry, because we're going to start with Sean, a.k.a. Nick Friedle. And then if you have Rob in the room with you at this moment and you had to work out a trade for Kyrie Irving to somehow get him to the Lakers, how do you even start that conversation? Please don't do the accent. Rob, give me your draft picks. Thank you. I don't want to mess with Russell Westbrook unless I absolutely have to. I need your picks. This doesn't sound like an Australian person on the other end of nope, the line. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. no. No, no, don't do the accent. <laughs> okay, here's my response, accent or not. I'm gonna offer you Russell Westbrook. You have the sixth most wealthy owner in all of basketball. Joe Sy is worth $9 billion. You can convince him just to pay Russell to stay at home. It's not gonna affect your team. And I'm gonna give you my pick, your pick of my 2027 first round pick or 2029 first round pick. One of those potentially could be in the lottery because at that point, LeBron James is going to be retired. We're going to go into a rebuild. I would also offer you mana from heaven, but I already traded away KCP. So sorry, I can't offer you that. <laughs> but you get Russ and you get a first round draft pick. And if you really want, you can give me Joe Harris. I'll take on that money and you have more oh, would flexibility. You, would you would just take on Joe Harris, an excellent player with shooting that just might compliment LeBron James? All right, Rob, I'm going to start with you on this one. I need two picks there, Rob. Sorry. What's one move the Lakers have to do this offseason above all else? What are you prioritizing? I got to figure out a way not to have Russell Westbrook on my team heading into training camp next year. What about what Darvin Ham keeps saying? Everything's great. Everything's going to be great with Russ on the team. Sean, isn't that tampering? You can't talk about my coach. You You're worry about tell Steve me Nash. About tampering? Sean, Sean, you worry about Steve Nash right now. <laughs> Darvin Ham's doing his best to manage any situation that will face him come training camp. But me, as the general manager, I want to do whatever I can to give my team the best chance to succeed, which will include moving Russell Westbrook on, whether moving him on to a team like the Brooklyn Nets or elsewhere. I want to have a chance to play with my big two that won me a championship in the bubble without the frankly diminishing skill set of Russell Westbrook. That's my number one move. Same question to you, Sean. What do the Nets need to do? Prioritize above all else. Oh, gosh. They have got to find a way to get Kevin to stay. Everything in this organization revolves around Kevin Durant. He is beloved internally because of what he represents. He is the star of stars, and it can still work here. If we make every other move centered on Kevin coming back, we can still be very good next season. Okay, so you all have both had a couple of moves under your belt. Sean, you have had some incredibly big ones, but Rob, you too. Is there anything that you would do differently, Sean, as you look back at your tenure with Brooklyn? Oh, Malika, there are several things, but there's one in particular in the last year. I would have stuck to my guns and said, Kyrie, you're not going to be a part-time member of this team. That upset the chemistry a great deal. I know there were players that wanted him back. Kevin was pushing to get him back. But when you look in totality of the last season, if he doesn't come back, James Harden's still there. And the chemistry that the group had developed early in the season, it's not overrun by what occurred later in the year. I would have held firm and said, Kyrie, you're not coming back unless the mandate gets lifted. Rob. I, well, based on what my number one priority is for the offseason, last offseason I would have traded for Russell Westbrook, would have kept my team more intact, gone for Buddy Heald. But here's the good part about this. I can still get Buddy Heald. I can call up Indiana. I can say, hey, I'd like to acquire my former client who I 
was his agent for back in my former life in the NBA world. And I can offer you a piece like Talon Horton Tucker, an emerging talent. You guys are in a rebuild anyway. What do you need? A guy who's more in a win now type of mode based on his career standing in Buddy Heald. And I will bring him in. I'll get that shooter. No matter what happens with Kyrie, no matter what happens with Joe Harris and the like, I get that wing player mm. to put alongside LeBron James that last year's team was sorely lacking. Is there anything else you need to get off your chest, Sean? Yeah, there's a lot because Rob has so many problems than I do, but I'd rather have my problems than Rob's. Wait, is, that, is this terrible. Nick talking or Sean talking? <laughs> the, la uh, the laugh is here. That it's, can no it's, longer it's be bad. Sean. Sean can laugh as bad as the Nets problems are. At least they're not the Laker problems. Those are really rough, rough issues that old Rob's going to have to figure I out. I feel like Rob's talk, it's like staring at me. I think the, the, the sticks need to go down at this point, but that was fun. Rob Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.